Um, yeah, my mirror just fell off, so I gotta get new mirrors now. Great. So basically, I don't know why I'm doing this video. Just maybe I'm just bored. Okay. Um. So it all starts with the other day. I was just doing some uh, CB black box on the computer, driving at night, coming back from work, and yeah, I, I did some editing on the computer, and I just wanted to just see if uh, what my my numbers were when I'm driving. You know, just cruising. And um, as I'm driving, I notice that the wind is flapping my mirror. But I, I, I disregarded it. Just figured maybe the screws are kind of loose, so I didn't really pay too much attention. So I kept driving, and then all of a sudden I, I hear this, Bleh! and I go, "What the heck was that?" And I look, the mirror is gone. <laughs> Not only that, but when it fell off, I felt like I ran over something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I ran over it. So I wasn't gonna go back and pick it up and try to save it or anything like that. So. Yeah, anyways, the whole thing starts kind of like that. So this is a boring video. Don't watch it. Just turn away. Go do something else. Um, let's just go see the way that thing is over there. It fell off. Ran over with that tire. This thing broke from there. The aluminum. Because it's so thin. Yeah, if it was plastic, it would be even weaker, I guess. But anyways, let's go get my mirrors. They're somewhere in there in a bunch of boxes. It's somewhere in there. Those are branch bank and new parts. GTI, 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 bug, and my other bug. Yeah, this is it. All right, uh, here's my mirror. I bought two of them. Um, you could get these from Bug, Bug Formans? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, they're like seven bucks. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. You can't go wrong with this. So, I got some. I got a pair. Because the other one, as you can see, it's painted green. Same color. And I don't have more paint. No, I take that back. I do have more paint that's green. But I don't have the, the uh, reducer and the hardener, the catalyst. I don't have it. So... I can't do my painting. I can't color match that. So, uh, oh well. It's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and install this thing right here. Oh, look at that. Wait, you know what? It looks actually... I think, it look, I think it's going to look really good because it's got the black stripes on the bottom. You know, black. So it's got, it's got the black paint going. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and change that. Alright, let's go ahead and remove this thingy. I got three screws on that sucker. <sighs> yeah, that's a long screw. Let me clean this thing because I want it to look good. Get all that grime off before I put that on. Yeah, it's looking good. It's gonna fit just fine. Anyways, um, I think I remember where I got these mirrors from. It's uh, J Bugs. J Bugs. Go to their website. They're seven bucks. They have another one that looks just like it. It's, I think it's, oh god, I don't want to, I don't want to say. I think it's like fifteen bucks a piece. So I went with the really cheapy one, seven bucks, and I think the quality looks good. So I, I'm not complaining about that. And I have no idea what that thing is for. I'll figure it out later. No, it doesn't go there. Doesn't go on the other side either. No clue what that is for. Oh well. Not my problem. <laughs> I got two. Okay, we got the little clip. It should just slide in and clip on. Cover up the hole. Cover up the slot, actually. That's the correct way to say it. Cover up the slot. 
just push it in and there was a click let me fix this the mirror is functional yeah I'm just being silly yeah, yeah. I want to go get change that sucker out uh, yeah, this is just uh, one of those things. Things in life, you just driving and then it just falls right off. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's see if I can make it. There you go. I got mirrors. <laughs> I'm gonna miss my little fish eye that I put on there. <sighs> Why am I making this video? silly video whatever all right let's get to this side i know i just pull on this thing as i remember about 15 years ago when i painted the car yeah i painted the car me myself and i all three of us painted this car needs another paint job this paint job is getting really old it's uh kind of rickety actually very rickety starting to peel here and there you know i you know I live in Bakersfield, so Bakersfield is like very hot and it's not very, it takes takes heavy toll on the paint. Um, my uh, wife's brand new car is a 2013 that I got for her for uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, that car is starting to peel, the clear coat is starting to come off and it's only what, six years old? Yeah, it's six years old. And the uh, paint is starting to flake off because Bakersfield is nasty. So you could say, why in the world would you not put the new car inside the garage, right? Um, these cars are going to get stolen. Oh, the VWs, I mean the Volkswagens are going to get stolen. Um, see that car right there? That GTI? It's brand new. It's outside. I, that's my son's. I asked him, are you going to keep the car in there? In here? Or the bug? He looked at me and laughed and said, ha ha ha. GTI stays outside. The bug is going in, staying inside. So, so we have the same mentality. <laughs> it's not materialism. It's more of uh, these things are rare. And you want to keep them looking, you know, good. You want to keep them looking nice so that uh, I guess people can enjoy them. But uh, I really don't really care about, you know, keeping the bug absolutely um, stock, you know. So, oh, but it's, you know, I'm not a, a stock purist. I could care less about about uh keeping it looking stock it's mine all those purists all these purists out there get your own if you want to keep it stock bone stock like it came from the factory get your own get your own you can still get one before they're all gone because they're going to be very rare in a couple of years these things are going to be very rare and um if you don't have one, well, I guess you don't get to play with us. <laughs> you don't get to play. You get to be, you, you just get to, oh, don't do that to that poor car. Keep it original. Bullshit. See that right there? That's an antenna that comes up through there. I know. That's uh, that's an 80s thing. I, I remember that back in the 80s they were doing that. And uh, it had it. I was going to plug it up and just, you know, fill it. But I decided, nah, just keep it. It's, it's an 80s thing, you know. We were modifying stuff back in the 80s. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. It was a, somebody else did that. Uh, I need to clean that. My next door neighbor just called the wheel washer car at your place, guys. So that's what you're hearing back there, that engine running back there making all that racket all 
All right, I just figured out what these blacks, uh, these plastics are for. They're actually, if you want to drill a bigger hole, like let's say you strip that one, and you just get a drill and drill it to this size right here. You put that in, and basically, that's how you would install it. Push it in, put your mirror, and then put the screw into that hole. That's what that's for. It's kind of like those uh, reinforcement things they sell for the drywalls in your home. Yeah, I figured it all out. All by my lonesome self. Aren't I lucky? Are you a donkey? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mirror on. I gotta... I need both hands for that. Okay, now that I got it mounted somewhat snug over here, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, these, these screws are actually a little bit bigger than the ones I had, so... They're really nice and tight. Oh yeah, that's good and tight. Good and tight. Why did I put the other one? Like that. It's got a little hole over here that that little clip, there you go, that little clip goes into. So I'll just get it in that hole and then there's another little hole right there and then it snaps in. You hear that little snap? She's in! She's good. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right. I think I like it. See, because it's got the black theme going right there. So I figure that black kind of goes together now. All right, so far that's all I'm doing to the bug. I still need to put the clutch on this sucker. I haven't done that. We, we're just driving the shit out of it the way it is. Even though it, the, the pedal feels like there's no resistance whatsoever. It's like you can just take your little pinky and go all the way down. <laughs> but it grabs really good because it's got a racing disc. You know, the, one of those that really sticky racing disc that I had in this motor. Oh, this motor. Yeah, this motor. My 2234. Yeah, you know what? I need to take this apart. Seriously, I need to just take it apart and see what's really wrong with it. See if I need to get a crank. And definitely, I do need to do a line bore and actually have the, the case magnaflux because that could be the webbing that cracked. It could be a crack that happened and it just fucked up everything. However, I drove this thing in 116 weather. I remember I was dying inside the car and I remember I was just, I didn't give a F. I just wanted to get out of the heat. So I had to drive like uh, 20 miles in 116 weather. So I was doing like 90, 95 following traffic because everybody was going that fast. I was just following traffic. And I wasn't paying attention to my temperature gauge. And when I looked at it, you know, I was like maybe two miles away from my house. And I was still doing about 90 and I looked at my temperature gauge and it read 254 degrees. The oil was 254. I think that's what fucked up the line bore. I don't think it's cracked. I think that's what fucked it up. But the funny thing is that the, the flywheel or the pulley, this pulley didn't tighten up that much. But I think that happened because it didn't it didn't tighten up because all my studs on the heads, both sides, because I torqued both sides, all the studs probably stretched out with the heat that I put into that, you know, that 215 degree, it probably stretched all the bolts, all the heads loosened up. So it wasn't very apparent that the case warped, the saddles warped on the on the on the crank. So it wasn't until I torqued the heads back up to, I think it was, I torqued them up to 20 pounds or 22 pounds. I don't remember, but I torqued both of them with the same and um, that caused the pulley to tighten up. I didn't know that. I just installed the engine and ran it and I noticed it on the first day that I drove it. My oil pressure that very day within, oh shit, within 10 miles, it's, it went from, you know, like 50 pounds of oil pressure which is normal it went to like 35 and i'm going what the heck and i drove it again for another day back to work and back and it went down to shit like 15 pounds had i 
I still regret that. I should have I should have stopped it on the first day. Okay, what the hell's going on? I would have caught this earlier and not damaged the uh, crank, but I think I might have damaged the crank. I must I might have to see if the machine guy can go to a smaller bearing, a smaller diameter bearing instead of stock because right now I'm running bone stock uh diameters on the crank because it's a brand new crank. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna end this video right here. I los guacho.